We've made clear on the show that corporate greed is one of the root causes, if not the main of our current inflation crisis. But now you essentially can't call out corporations on social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook, because if you do, you're gonna get fact checked and also gas lit. Here is an example. So this post is by Dan Price and it says Exxon Mobil, highest profit in seven years, Chevron, highest profit in seven years, Shell, same thing. BP, highest profit in eight years, gas prices, highest in seven years. Guess it's just that inflation. Well, when you click on the fact check flag, well, this is what comes up. Missing context. Independent fact checkers say information in this post is missing context and could mislead people. Jump to the bottom and it reads, more information, corporate price hikes are not root cause of soaring US inflation. You know, uh, wow, that's really interesting how that's what their fact check is revealing. But also that post wasn't hyperbole because guess what? These are facts and they are from mainstream media outlets nonetheless. So check out Dan Price's tweet here where he essentially produces receipts on receipts. CBS News, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, Reuters. It's essentially uh, what, Instagram, Facebook calling them liars? What am I missing? You know, but also the thing is, I'm not missing having this kind of experience on Facebook because they're also doing this kind of censoring. So this is an example from Occupy Democrats. Um, can we stop calling it inflation and call it what it really is? Price gouging and corporate greed. Down below it reads correction. This meme has been labeled as partly false by fact checkers at AFP. Experts rejected the idea that Corporations are the main culprit and said the spike in prices follows big federal spending, heightened demand and supply problems, all of which have accompanied the pandemic. So mm, that's interesting. What is AFP you ask? Well, according to their website, mm, this is what they are. AFP launched its digital verification service in France in 2017 and has grown to become the leading global fact checking organization with dedicated journalists in countries from the United States to Myanmar. They take into account local cultures, languages and politics and work with AFP's bureaus worldwide to investigate and disprove false information focusing on items that can be harmful, impactful and manipulative. And also AFP seems to claim to be objective. Interesting, it says the company itself has unique status under a French law, which stipulates that AFP can in no circumstances be influenced by anything, which might compromise the accuracy or objectivity of information. It must in no circumstances fall under the control of an ideological, political or economic group. It also states that AFP must seek to give French and foreign users precise, impartial and trustworthy information in a regular uninterrupted manner. Uh, so Jenk, based on what you've seen so far, do you think that AFP is really out here doing its job? Yeah, utter nonsense. So let's talk about actual facts. So um, we love context on the show. You hear me talk about context uh, every day, probably about 10 times a day. So great, I love it. So you wanna know context? Uh, Facebook uh, owns, by the way, Instagram as well. So both of those outlets, same parent company, Meta. Um, we shared with you guys before, uh, they, the fact checkers they hired are Republicans. Um, and uh, so they're checking facts, is that right? Well, look, when you go to pick a fact checker, you can cherry pick, right? You can say, well, I don't like that fact checker, he's actually got facts. Well, this one is filled with nonsense. We're gonna pick that fact checker. So if you ever dare criticize corporations, which by the way, I don't know if you know this, Facebook, also a giant corporation. Uh, we're gonna fact check you with things that are not at all facts. So Adrian, I went and found the original AFP fact check on this. And I wanna quote a number of things from that because it's interesting. Let's find out if they really are facts. Um, by the way, can people on the left say things that are counterfactual? Oh, of course, by the way, we call that out uh, when it happens, right? So and uh, not every part of the fact check is wrong. Uh, they talk about high prices are also a result of a big uh, Budget federal spending, there's some truth to that. Uh, low Federal Reserve interest rates, it's really quantitative easing that's pouring in trillions of dollars into the economy, largely in the loan, in the form of loans to giant corporations that corporations loved, but that's also true as a contributing factor to inflation and overseas supply problems, that's uh, definitely true. Okay, so now if they left it at that, hey, there are other factors, I wouldn't even uh, mind this, okay? 
No, instead, they put that as one line, and here's what they focused on. They said the cost of essential goods, such as food, gas, clothes, and housing, have all experienced large increases. Now, remember, this is the fact check that tells you corporations did not do it, that it is false to say that it was corporations who raised the prices. Now, who gives you food, gas, clothes, and housing in a capitalist society like America? Adrian, I'm pretty sure it's corporations, isn't it? Yep. I mean, it's not like government that gives you food, gas, and clothes, right? I mean, we're not, we don't live in a communist, let alone, we're not socialist, let alone communist, let alone Marxist. It is, in fact, corporations that set the prices of all of these goods, correct? Mm -hmm. I don't think correct. we're saying anything controversial, right? So, but apparently, the poor corporations, as they're setting their prices, there was nothing they could do. Really, nothing they could do? That seems weird. Okay, I don't know who's setting the prices, God, Gargamel, I don't know. Um, they, the, the very next sentence is, wage costs have also risen markedly, wage costs. So that's you guys, you get paid too much, but the sentence continues. With the pandemic partly to blame as workers have been able to demand higher pay. It turns out the pandemic's to blame because you guys are getting paid too much money. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute. Adrian, if the wages are too high, and I, I can see how, what a wonderful fact check. Turns out Americans are getting paid too much. That obviously means that companies had to, they had to, okay, oh, fine, it was them. But they had to raise the prices because they're not making money anymore. The wage costs are so high, these poor, poor corporations, their uh, profits are non existent now. Right, Adrian? Yeah, no, I'm gonna go with no on that one. Oh, you're right. I think they just want more money. You're right, not only are they still making tons of revenue, they're still making billions of dollars in profits. And not only are they making billions of profits, their profits have increased substantially. We've already given you dozens of examples in previous shows. I'll just give one that's representative McDonald's profits have risen 59% in the last year. But they had to increase the prices for you guys. Otherwise, how could they make near 60% profit? Okay, now AFP gives you none of that context. Instead, as you can see here, they say corporations, we couldn't help it. The poor corporations, not their fault. It's their employees demanding a higher wages, how dare they? And But they did quote real experts here. Uh, the main person they quote throughout uh, the piece is Desmond Lockman, a senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute. Funny enough, AFP does not note that American Enterprise Institute is one of the most conservative think tanks in America, funded largely by giant corporations. You would think that in a fact check, that might be a relevant fact. So what did Lockman say? Uh, he said that blaming current price increases solely on corporations is, quote, very far-fetched. I mean, the idea that corporations set their own prices is very far-fetched. It's obviously, uh, you know, uh, Poseidon and Thor and whoever else is setting those prices because it can't be the poor corporations. And finally, I love this quote. Um, they found another expert from another think tank. Uh, and they, this person, Page, says, the theory that firms suddenly became more greedy, quote, doesn't pass the smell test. Corporations being greedy and caring about profits, that doesn't pass the smell test. Obviously, that can't be a fact. Uh, Adrian, uh, now that we've shown the real facts, look, I, you know, <laughs> uh, you know I, I talk about this all the time, but the fact that our media is owned by giant corporations mm -hmm. uh, seems to make a slight difference here, and that is not in any fact check. And Facebook and Instagram never give you a warning about that, do they? Nope, not at all. I should really love to kind of just maybe change the narrative to suit their own desires, interests, and needs. And that's definitely what we're seeing here. And this thought that, oh, corporations couldn't just want more money is not 
passing the smell test, it's like, yeah, right, have you met a corporation or a CEO? Because also the thing is the CEOs aren't out here necessarily hiding the ball. A lot of them have gone on the record making clear that essentially they are not rising prices because of inflation. That essentially it is because they want more. Dr. Lindsay Owens, she tweeted this. She said, I have steam coming out of my ears over this one constellations, which seems to be the corporation that owns like Modelo, Corona and other brands. Well, their fourth quarter earnings call, the CFO said, we want to make sure that we're not leaving any pricing on the table. We want to take as much as we can. We'll take as much pricing as we think the consumer can absorb. And per the New York Post, well, Coach essentially, for Coach, the rise in prices isn't really about inflation. It's about reducing discounting. In the third quarter, our pricing increases continued to more than offset inflation. Yeah. That's essentially an eye roll over here because you know other corporations are really smarter and they're using other excuses for why their prices are rising. Uh, like Starbucks CEO who had what a 39% jump, which is 20.4 million in 2021. Well, they essentially are claiming again supply chain disruptions, rising labor costs are to blame for the price increases. But we all know that's not true uh, as we've seen even Amazon's numbers and yet they're increasing the price of Prime. It's, it all seems to be very much a joke. Yeah, so last couple of things here. So is there real supply chain issues? There are. Does that affect supply and demand? It does. The supply and demand affect price, it does. But that's not the reason that corporations have to raise their prices. They're incredibly profitable, they don't have to raise their prices at all. That's the excuse that allows them to raise mm-hmm. prices and get away with it. And their own chief financial officers admit that. They say this is an opportunity for us to raise prices and raise profits. So when they do a fact check pretending like poor little corporations had nothing to do with it and there was nothing they could do. When in reality, corporations took it as a wonderful opportunity to price gouge and their own executives admit it. Shows you that the original posts were exactly right. And I'll give you more examples of McDonald's made seven and a half billion dollars in profits last year. Exxon Mobil made $8.9 billion in profits in just the last quarter of the last year. And those are food and gas, the ones that AFP, Facebook and Instagram are claiming had nothing to do with corporations at all, poor, poor corporations. And finally, guys, this is why the right wing lies are extra dangerous and harmful. Because when the right wing says outrageous lies about the election or coronavirus or vaccines, it gives an opportunity for these platforms to start labeling things. Say, hey, that's not true. And it almost forces them to do it. And once they start doing that, they're gonna be like, well, those are actually facts, but they're inconvenient facts. We don't like them, right? We'll call them mm-hmm. false too. And hey, we have balance now. We went said some things the right wing said isn't true and some things the left wing said against us aren't true. And so that's what's now started. So now, not only do you have to be concerned about seeing fake facts on Facebook, you have to be concerned about seeing fake fact checks on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they definitely are controlling what we see and think. Thanks for watching the Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.